My name is uh, Dawood Nassar, Dawood is David, and I was born in Bethlehem. We are here on an area which is called the Tent of Nations. My father's dream was to devote his land for a peace project, because this is what he wanted to have for the new generation. But he died uh, in 1976 before fulfilling his dream, and now we are trying with what we are doing here with the Tent of Nations to, um, you know, to realize his dream. people who believe in justice. We refuse to hate, we refuse to be victims. And that's why you know we created another way of action, a fourth way which is uh, overcoming the bad with good, overcoming hatred with love, overcoming darkness with light, and overcoming evil with good. Under the slogan, we refuse to be enemies. We started the Tent of Nations here. And the idea of the Tent of Nations is to invest our frustration constructively and open this place for people to come from different countries, nationalities, and religions to come together and build bridges of understanding, of reconciliation and peace. My name is Benjamin Krauss. I've been here for a year and I've done very different work. Uh, mainly I work with animals, um, so chicken and goats uh, and horses. and. But I've also helped digging a cistern to um, help us have enough water here. When I arrived here, I started to work at the summer camp. So there were two weeks of working with the children, mainly. And since then I was building some walls, building a house, digging some holes. I really like the idea behind Tent of Nations. I really like that a peaceful resistance. It's really a different way of um, encountering the Israeli occupation. To me, Tent of Nations is a good example of how in Palestine existence is resistance and how people, by just trying to live a normal life and keeping on to their claims to the land, um, can make a difference. As you see here, we are surrounded by five settlements. And this is the only hill that is under Palestinian control. So, we are in court since 1991. We have papers from the Ottomans, from the English, mandate uh, period from the Jordanians, and from the Israelis. But still, we are defending our, our rights uh, in the Israeli courts. 12 years of legal battle in front of the military court, and now over eight years in front of the Supreme Court. We are in an area which is, uh, of course, in the occupied territory, but is under Israeli control. So we have no access to running water, no electricity, and no building permit. Um, and just recently, of course, like uh, two years ago, we received nine demolishing orders. And just recently, like uh, the yesterday, we received another demolishing order from the Israeli authorities for the tent, which is being used for our activities and you know, gatherings. I've learned a lot about nonviolent resistance in many ways, both subtle and more in your face. And this affected me in the way that I realized how many different um, ways of how we think about the world affect this place. Yes, people, they have a really, really, really have a cliche about Palestinian people and they can't think that it's just simple people like you and me you know for them it's impossible to think that uh, it's father and mother and children who just want to have a really normal life so I think people have to come here to understand really what is the situation and to understand that the West Bank and Gaza are a jail and we put people in this kind of jail but I'm not blaming uh, all people in Israel because most of them have no idea about what's going on here because there is no communication between the two countries. So. But also I've become very interested in farming and ecology for reasons of um, create uh, 
improving local resilience against um, changes in the broader world and also to create community um, by ways of producing food. I think after the, like now that I'm closing kind of my volunteer year, I can say that this has been a really good experience uh, with both, yeah, learning a lot in positive ways, also struggling with people, with situations, but just learning a lot about myself, learning about a lot about how I relate to other people, um, how people can create a, resi uh, a resistant community um, and uh, what's important it, both in my personal life but also to kind of um, keep this world from getting a more horrible place. We do whatever we can within our capacities but at the end whatever we cannot achieve we try to invest in the new generation. Because the new generation is the future for any country.